Hello and welcome to a quick tip. Did you know that we have an app within Photoshop? Yes, we have. The Adobe Capture app is located in the Libraries panel. But first of all, I'm going to show you what Adobe Capture is. So let's go to the Adobe website and here you have the Adobe Capture app. It's available in the App Store in the Google Play Store. It's basically to extract looks out of photos or materials, creating brushes, shapes, vector shapes by the way, filters, you can extract the fonts from a, from a photo, you can create patterns and we, you can uh, create color gradients out of a photo or create uh, extract of the colors out of a photo. In my last video I explained you how you can extract a color grading from one photo and apply it to another. There I showed you how you can extract the colors and apply it into a color gradient. <clears throat> Basically you can do that within Photoshop itself directly. That's what I'm going to show you now. So here is the photo of my last video on which I want to apply the color grading from another photo. So first I import the photo I want the color grading to extract off. That's this one from Zermatt. I want to extract the color grading from the Zermatt photo and apply it to the photo here in the background. So what I'm going to do now, I'm on the layer with the photo I want to extract to the color grading. I go to my libraries panel. I, for, important is to say that you have to be in one of your uh, folders to, um, to start the Adobe Capture app. If you do it from the libraries panel itself, it won't work here. So you have to be, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> you have to be in a folder. So I selected the scholar scheme, uh, scheme folder. Now I go to the plus sign and click on the Capture App logo. Then it opens a new window and basically that's the same what you have in your app on your mob for your mobile phone. So here I can, could create any uh, patterns or I would be able to create any uh, vectors out of it. It makes no sense here because there's too much details. But this is a good option if you want to scan or make a, a vector fi file out of your signature, for example, to create um, a signature brush for your photos. Then here I can uh, extract the, the colors out of this photo. Or as I said, you can create a gradient. That's what we're going to do now. So I'm, let's say I'm happy with this, with it. So I would say I save that to my library. So, and here is the gradient I just created. And now it's the same workflow we had in my last video to apply the color grading onto, to the photo in the background. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.